Let's take a look at the EcoWorthy's trickle chargers. They're 10 watts each. There's a newer version and an older version. There's not much difference between the two, but let me explain the difference. In this kit that you get, they both have the four suction cups that allows you to detach it to your window in your car. So you can take these, you can put them on here, and you can stick them on the window in your car. That makes it to where you can easily leave your car in a parking lot long term and not worry about your battery going weak. In addition to that, in, if you're interested in the car, this one has the cigarette lighter connector in it. This is great for boats, RVs, and anything else that you need a cigarette lighter in addition to the alligator clamps. On this one, you have the OBD connection. This is particularly useful in an automobile because in an automobile, if you connect this, it has live access to the power 24 seven, allowing it to charge even with the ignition off or on. So this is very, very handy. And this is really the main difference between the two. Now, if we take a look at the manuals, you'll see that these charge at a, at, have a safety shutoff cutoff at 13.5 volts and then restart at 13 volts. So if your battery gets up to 13.5 volts, it automatically shuts it off and stops the charging. Now I've watched it and it pulses lightly at the battery until it gets down to 13.5 volts. And then at that point it turns back on. So it's very, very safe for long-term storage of both your RV, your boat, or your car. And both of these are identical in that sense and allow you to basically trickle charge any battery and keep it active for as long as it's in the parking lot. This is particularly useful when I go out of town. I put one of these in the window of my wife's car and I connect it to the OBD2 connector right underneath in the car. And I probably can show you a, a preview of how that connects in. You just plug it in and then you run this and each one of these has an extension cord attached to it. And you basically take the extension cord and plug in whichever adapter you want. And then you plug this into your car and you're all set. And you don't have to worry about the car battery going dead. If you are in a boat, then you will probably want to plug it in with your lighter. Most boats have a lighter. And if you don't have access to a lighter, then you can always plug it in with the alligator clamps on either one of them. And it's as simple as plugging it in like this and then connecting the alligator clamps to it. The version twos clips are a little bit different. Now I don't want to show you these as they have the ability to attach them with little screws that you put on and then you screw them on. This is a little bit more convenient, although the old version that pushes in, although it does take a little bit of effort to get them pushed in, once they're in, there really isn't much trouble. And if you just get them a tiny bit of moisture, then they just pop right on and there's no more trouble. So both of them are good options. It just depends on what kind of lighter you need or what kind of of, uh, excuse me, what kind of connector you need, whether you want the cigarette lighter or you want the alligator clamps or you want the ODB and the alligator clamps. Either one, they're both great options. They both work equally well and they'll both save you a lot of trouble when it comes to operating and saving your battery when you're out of town, when your boat is parked in the docks or your RV is in storage or you're simply out for the day and you don't want to take a chance on your battery going low. They're safe for long-term use 
They trickle charge at about 10 watts, unless you bite the five watt version of the new version comes out in a five watt version also. Um, and that's it. Hope this helps. Enjoy.